それでも言いたいこの僕に何ができるって言うんだ窮屈な」Hello and welcome to Mega Anime Reviews. And today, we're gonna take a look at Hades Project Zero Rhymer. First, some background. It was originally a manga written by Yoshiki Takaya, better known as the creator of Giver, and was originally published in the adult manga magazine Lemon People from October 1983 to November 1984, though it wouldn't receive a proper ending until a three part finale was serialized in Monthly Comic Review in 2007. However, as far as I know, this four part OVA series deviates entirely from the manga storyline and setting, toning down some of the darker aspects of the manga. Anyway, what's the story? In the near future, a secret feudal monarchy named the Hakeshu, led by Empress Yurate, had built a set of eight giant robots, each possessing a power based upon the eight elements of the earth fire, water, air, thunder, mountains, the moon, and the heavens, with the intention of destroying the entire world. However, one of them, Zellreimer of the Heavens, had been stolen by one of the scientists named Masaki Kihara and was given to the main character, 15 year old Masato Akitsu. He is forced into piloting it along with a mysterious girl named Miko Himuro to fight against the Hakeshu and save the world. However, there's more to this than meets the eye, as Masato has some sort of split personality disorder, switching from a kind boy into a monster almost at random. And as the series goes on, secrets are eventually revealed. And the mystery behind Masaki and the Zero Rhymer comes to light. The animation is okay, it looks nice, but it doesn't really stand out too much. The music is kinda bland. Not bad, but not terribly memorable. As far as I know, there are two English dubs for the series, but I'm looking at the one done by Manga UK. The English dub is freaking terrible. I mean, the actor who does Masato is okay. Granted, he starts out mediocre, but does improve slightly over the course of the OVAs. And does give an almost chilling performance as the evil side of Masato. But the rest of the actors range from mediocre to downright horrible. The series sets itself up as a sort of Evangelion style deconstruction of Super Robot anime. The main character is a mentally unstable boy, the bad guys are not quite as cartoonishly evil as villains like Dr. Hell or the Great General of Darkness, having a little bit of depth to them. And the scientist who stole the robot turns out to be not quite as saintly as originally thought. It has some interesting concepts of the main cast having a fatal flaw that allows them to be manipulated by the big bad. Unfortunately, the anime doesn't really deliver on this promise. For one thing, the characters are insanely bland and dull, lacking any real personality. The bad guys are a little bit more fleshed out, but not by much. The fight scenes are slow and boring, it lacks tension, and the part I said about the flaws of the cast is rendered moot by the fact. That the Zero Rhymer is so ridiculously powerful that it defeats the bad guys pretty damn quickly. The fights in Wing had more tension than this show. The most interesting thing I can say about this show is that Masato has a fairly interesting arc. Okay, his good side is barely a character, but his evil side is actually pretty creepy and intimidating. You never really know what's on his mind, and his scenes are about the closest the anime has to actual tension. The whole idea of two personalities fighting for control is fairly interesting and has a nice resolution near the end, but it wasn't developed properly enough and ultimately it's just as bland as everything else. That's the best way to describe the series. It's bland, dull, boring mediocrity. Oh well, see you next time on the next Mega Anime Reviews. Its object was to establish the Zero Rhymer of Heaven as the King of Hell, and the venture was known as Project Hades. 